Sakurai, great news. Microsoft just approved to have Steve in Smash. <laughs> Who's Steve? Oh, um, are you talking about Steve from accounting? What? No, I'm talking about Steve from Minecraft. <laughs> What's Minecraft? You don't know about Minecraft? It's the best selling video game of all time. Wait, you mean to tell me that Super Smash Brothers isn't the best selling video game of all time? No, not even by a long shot. Hmm. So if I add this Steve to Smash Brothers, that means Minecraft is part of Smash Brothers. Well, yeah, technically. And if the best selling video game of all time is part of Smash Brothers, that means by transitive property, Smash Brothers is the best selling video game of all time. I don't think that's how it- Very well. Steve will join the battle. Now tell me, what exactly does Steve do in this video game? Oh, well, uh, he mines stuff to craft with. And then he crafts stuff to mine with. Minecraft! This is the best selling video game of all time? Oh, well, uh, you can build stuff too. Ooh, now that sounds fun. Alright, to start off, let's give him the ability to mine. Of course. Let's make that his neutral special. Sounds good to me. Next, let's give him the ability to craft. Okay, and what button should that be? Let's assign that to his neutral special. Sure. And wait a minute. Didn't you just make mining his neutral special? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, so how is the player supposed to choose between mining and crafting if they're assigned to the same button? Oh, well, that's simple. If the player is on stage, they will mine. And if they are near a crafting table, they will craft. Oh, okay, I see it. Wait, where is the crafting table coming from? Steve will also have the ability to spawn a crafting table. Oh, okay, that sounds good. So, what button will that be? Let's assign that to his neutral special. Okay, now how is he supposed to do that when every other move is his neutral special? Simple. If you hold the shield button before pressing neutral special, that will choose the crafting table. Oh, uh, I see. Next. Let's give him the ability to build. Okay, and what button will that be? Neutral special. Okay, Sakurai, let's go over this real quick. When we added Sonic to the game, we gave him the same move assigned to two different special buttons. But now that we're adding Steve to the game, we're giving him four different moves all assigned to one special button. Does that seem fair to you? Yes. Why are we giving Steve this special privilege? Simple. Steve is DLC. Yeah, okay, I suppose that checks out. Now, why don't you go ahead and explain to me how building in Minecraft works? Oh, it's pretty simple actually. You just take blocks and attach them to any surface in the game. And you can stack them on top of each other to create any construction that you can imagine. You can create any kind of construction? Yup, the sky's the limit. The sky, huh? Very well. Steve will be able to place his blocks on any surface. Cool. Including the sky. What? Steve will be able to place blocks on thin air. Huh? Wait, why? He can't even do that in his own game. Of course he can't. But Smash Brothers is superior. Now, why would you give him that? Imagine you're playing on Final Destination. Okay. And now it's Battlefield. What? By being able to place these blocks on thin air, Steve will have the ability to create his own platforms. Sakurai. Giving him the ability to stack blocks on stage and create barriers that separate him from his opponents is already a super good ability. But now you're gonna let him do that while in the air? I think this will make for some exciting and fun gameplay. See, isn't this fun? Wow. Congratulations, Sakurai. You have created the first character in Smash Bros. history that can platform camp on a stage with no platforms. If you thought that was cool. Well, I didn't. Just wait until you see what you can do with the platforms off stage. <laughs> Huh? You literally gave him the ability to gatekeep people from recovering back to ledge. That's pretty cool, right? No, Sakurai. Look at this. This is a broken edge guarding tool. Are you trying to make people hate this character? What? No, of course not. Anyways, who was the most hated character in the last game? Bayonetta? Oh, right. <laughs> 
And why did everyone hate her? Because she had ladder combos that could zero to death people? Oh, right, right. Let's give that to Steve. <laughs> What is wrong with you? By using his blocks, he can drag his opponents to the top blast zone. Sakurai, that is broken. That is actually broken. Oh, please. You want broken? Look at Brawl Meta Knight. Ah, uh, yes. Another disaster you designed. Remember how you could do three up airs in one short hop? Yes, Sakurai. And that was absolutely ridiculous. Everybody hated that. <laughs> so true. Let's give that to Steve. Sakurai. Why are you taking attributes from the most hated characters in Smash history and putting them into Steve? Oh please, I'm sure everybody will love this character. Really Sakurai? Really? You know, another idea I had, just to make sure that everybody gets a unique experience for playing Steve in Smash Bros, is to give his blocks the ability to send people to the Shadow Realm. I... what? What the fu- If you kick his blocks, you can be sent to the Shadow Realm. Or the Nether, whatever you want to call it. Why does that happen? Okay, I'ma be honest, these blocks are still a work in progress. Any other neat tricks you want to add to this character? Ah, uh, yes. That reminds me. Didn't you bring up Sonic earlier? Uh, yeah? Doesn't everyone hate that character? Yes, because you literally designed that character to only use Spin Dash throughout entire games. Ah, uh, now I remember. Everybody hates that move. Let's give it to Steve. Steve can't even spin dash in his own games. What do you mean you're giving him spin dash? Well, I'm sure we can give him something similar. Is Steve a fast character? No, not really. He usually needs a minecart or something to travel quickly. Okay then. We'll give Steve the ability to summon a minecart, and that will be like spin dash. Well, it's an unreactable burst option that has invincibility on release. You're joking. Oh, and it kills. <laughs> That is absolutely broken. Oh, come on, it's not that broken. You can still just shield against it to avoid getting hit. I guess. Which is why I'm giving it the ability to command grab too. <laughs> See? Now it's broken. Okay, Sakurai. I think that's enough. This character has an unreactable burst option that beats shields and can't be contested. Ladder combos. The most spammable up air in the game. The ability to send people to the Shadow Realm, and he can just build whatever, wherever. Now that's what I call the power of DLC. And that's what I call the power of bullshit. Sakurai, you can't... Hold on, now that I think about it, he can build whatever he wants. Don't you think kids might take advantage of that and build something inappropriate in online matches? Like what? I mean, you know... Nintendo. Get your head out the gutters. Smash Brothers is a game for good boys and good girls. They would never do such naughty things like that. Okay, my bad, I'm just being cautious. Come on, Nintendo. You should have better expectations of our audience. Now then, let's have him hold a big piece of meat between his legs for his victory screen. Uh, what now? Now that I think about it, you know what he's missing? Sakurai, he can build whatever he wants. I don't think he's missing anything. We need to give him the ability to spam fire at ledge. Ness and Robin can already do that and everybody finds that super annoying. Ness and who? 